Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss about the input delivery in SAP MM. So, input delivery is nothing but the uh, confirmation document that uh, we have obtained from our vendor. So, we are raising our purchase order and uh, we will deliver it to our vendor. So, the vendor uh, will confirm the purchase order by uh, supplying a document. So, in that document, the vendor will confirm uh, the supplying quantity and the date on which the quantity will be delivered so that document uh, is called the uh, shipment document and uh, we can enter the document in the, in our SAP called the uh, inbound delivery so once the inbound delivery is uh, uh, raised we are confirming that uh, in that particular date the material will be available from our vendor and uh, the main reason for uh, raising the input delivery is it helps in our uh, production planning uh, where the material, material availability date is very important for uh, planning especially in uh, MRP and uh, it also holds the uh, uh, data, data about where the material has to be stored especially the uh, storage location so in this video we will uh, demonstrate all these things practically so uh, i'm going to do a purchase order confirm the purchase order and uh, and uh, I, I will i will raise uh, inbound delivery with respect to the purchase order and then uh, make the goods receipt with respect to the inbound delivery and uh, i will i'll also show the uh, uh, transactions between the uh, warehouse management with our uh, material management so let's proceed with the process let me uh, raise a purchase order So let me have this material. Turn it wrongly. The discount I just go with the five percent. This is the gross price. So the important thing is in the confirmation tab, I should select the uh, confirmation control, like a uh, shipping notification. This is very important. And also I have to take the confirmation required. So this is the only uh, uh, change I have to do it. The in the confirmation tab, I have to make the confirmation control as a shipping notification, and also check mark in the uh, this thing and I can save it so let me save the uh, purchase order and uh, this thing you can also uh, enter in uh, info record so that the, these things will be automatically imported from the info, info record but I have uh, manually created in the manually linked it in purchase order itself so let me release the purchase order the number is 309 let me release the purchase order this is not my purchase order I just uh, search it from my uh, list of purchase order So I have released the purchase order, you can see here, the standard purchase order has been uh, released. So now I am going to do the uh, inbound delivery, so the decode is V1 
VL31 N so you can see the this thing the vendor is updated and the last created purchase order number has been also updated you can see the delivery date is just to list it just click on enter so this is the uh, first screen for uh, creating inbound delivery so you can see the second screen appears so here the material is updated the delivery quantity so i just enter the storage location so this is very important i just enter the storage location and uh, before that uh, you can see that the overall put away strategy uh, a it, it appears a you just show what is a a stands for uh, not yet processed and uh, b stands for partially processed and c is completely processed so my my company code b or b is link, linked to the uh, warehouse management also so uh, i cannot directly uh, make the purchase order uh, sorry uh, i cannot directly go with the uh, after this i cannot directly go with the post goods receipt because i have to process the uh, warehouse management processes uh, that is uh, that i have to create the uh, tr transfer order and then and then only uh, the goods receipt can be processed so so you can see that this is the initial step i just enter the storage location and clicked on enter you can see that the overall warehouse management status changes to a a is nothing but uh, not yet processed and uh, warehouse management transfer order required it it uh, it resembles that uh, the ship, shipping notification has been created but uh, the warehouse management transfer order need to be uh, is required and uh, then only the next process can be continued so i just save this so that the shipping notification has been uh, will be uh, created you can see that inbound delivery number is updated so let me let me show when it is saved so you can see that the shipping notification has been saved so let me process the next step okay, let me show where where these uh, takeouts you can uh, get just enter to the material management uh, the purchasing you can see in the purchase order inbound delivery so this is the t code for creating inbound delivery just now we have processed with this and uh, for the change you can go with this so now uh, since we are connected with the warehouse management since the storage location uh, what we have entered is linked to the warehouse management i just want to link i just want the next step is i want to create the uh, transfer order so just go on with the, i just show the t code where it is and this can be in not a material management i just go to the logistics execution where you can find the inbound processes since this process is linked to the warehouse management i i enter into the logistics execution so here you can see the goods receipt for inbound delivery and executing it we can see the inbound delivery create okay the same t code not uh, this is this is not so i have i have created the uh, trans inbound delivery but i just leave it leave this i just go to the put away process so this this process belongs to the warehouse management so just enter into the put away you can see that the create transfer order i just executing it okay create transfer order for inbound delivery we have created the inbound delivery and and i'm going to do the transfer order for that inbound delivery i just go to go to the t code lt04 okay i need to enter the inbound delivery number so i just go on with the selection so this is the inbound delivery which just now we have created just click on enter no items or handling units to be placed in the storage could be determined it shows okay let me enter the plant this is not my warehouse number i just change it to b r this is my warehouse number so the screen i just in click on uh, this put away foreground so uh, 
my my quantity this 10 quantity will be placed in this destination uh, storage bin so these uh, these configurations have made in the uh, warehouse management uh, configurations you can uh, you can view, view in my uh, warehouse management playlist i have uh, made it made all these videos so uh, just click on enter you can see that the storage bin has been uh, uh, automatically picked from uh, from my uh, put away strategy I just click on save so that the transfer order will be created so once the transfer order is created I can confirm it so that so you can see that the transfer order has been, has been created and now I can uh, confirm it confirm the transfer order you can see the t code is lt12 I just click on enter it shows it is already has been confirmed so I have, uh, have confidence in such a way that once the uh, transfer order is created it will be confirmed automatically so once the transfer order is confirmed it, it shows that uh, my stock has been transferred to the warehouse management warehouse uh, let me show mmv just let's check the uh, stock so there is already a stock available with this so let me show so let me let me uh, show the uh, inbound delivery. I will change the inbound delivery VL thirty two n. Just click on enter. So, right. so here you can see that the status has been changed to C. This C represents the completely processed. So you can see the both both these things have changed to C. So warehouse management transfer orders has, has been confirmed. So you can see the ten. 10 quantities available with the put away quantity and uh, now I can process with the goods receipt so you can see that the goods receipt for this input delivery is already posted since once the uh, transfer order is confirmed the goods receipt has been uh, processed so but you can do if, if you if you have uh, not configured the uh, warehouse management uh, you just after, after entering the storage location you can just uh, save the uh, thing that is you can save the shipment notification then again uh, when when the goods is delivered you can post the goods receipt from directly here otherwise you can you can also can process with the uh, Miko itself I will show how to do that so if you have a warehouse management module configured you have to do like this so you can change the goods receipt with this input delivery and uh, you can uh, enter the input delivery number here and uh, you can process so uh, that's about input delivery so thank you guys for watching this video uh, we will have a new topic in our next topic thank you